Hello Geminis, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a whatever comes out reading for you all, okay? I'm pretty sure it's called a general reading, but whatever. I'm different. So, <laughs> first I'm going to be pulling a message for you out of my everyday positive thinking book, okay? I actually really like this book, so let's just see what message comes out for you, whatever I flip to, and if it resonates, then good. All right, meditate, engage in daily prayers, read uplifting books, commune with Mother Nature in some way to try to remove yourself from the discord of the everyday world that invades your sense of inner peace. Okay, for the uh, Moonology card I got for you, it says the answers you need are coming. Okay. All right, let's get into the tarot. Holy Spirit, please guide me while I do this reading for the Geminis. <clears throat> what do the Geminis need to know? All right, Gemini. So there is some indecisiveness going on, okay? There's a choice here that needs to be made. You got a king of pentacles. Um, <coughs> sorry. That's earth energy. Um, I'm not sure exactly if it's um, a Taurus or um, Capricorn. But we'll clarify. Or a Virgo. But yeah, I'm saying like the main zodiac sign. All right, so there's a choice about a relationship. Mm-hmm. All right. So, You all could be releasing something, could be someone, could be a Pisces. Um, there's a new relationship here, a new love connection here. Gemini's. And there's somebody still holding on. Could be this King of Pentacles. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. I don't know why I put my cards over here. Look, something is a challenge. There's some defensiveness here. Could be blocking someone out. Some competition here. Spirit, please clarify the two of swords. I saw that Queen of Cups. I was going to say something, but I didn't. But, all right. So, there's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here that is, um, if this could be you, um, you can have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio on your chart um, somewhere. But nevertheless, it looks like there's a decision that is not being made. There's some uh, a blockage here. Some stalemate thinking. What's the Queen of Cups with the Two of Swords? Someone could be intuitively blocked as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your intuition with the Moon card. Or someone's intuition, this Pisces. Okay. Or it could, yeah. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Something is um an illusion. Yeah, the lovers with the King of Pentacles. There's a choice. 
There's a decision right here with this King of Pentacles. Hmm. There's, there's two people. Why am I getting that for every zodiac sign? I mean, uh, what's this moon? What's the moon card? There is something dark that is hidden with the devil in this moon card. Somebody is hiding some type of uh something. What's the devil? What is this? What is this that's being hidden? What's the devil? Got the Knight of Swords here. That's your energy, Gemini's. This Knight of Swords, there's something that you're coming in to find out about something. This devil energy. I hope you're not coming in with the devil energy. Mm -mm. One more for the devil, please. Holy Spirit, give me one more for the devil. Something's... What's the devil? One more. Okay. Okay, so you got the two of wands. This this is this someone's also getting having a lot of nightmares too. But someone's like Okay, there's some codependency here. Someone is attached to somewhere. I'm just going to say that. Um, yeah. What's the lovers with the King of Pentacles? Yeah, this... Um, in this relationship right here with this King of Pentacles, um, Gemini, there's some, um, somebody has a Cancer Moon. Uh, this is this, it's some, it's some disconnect here. Somebody's bored. Okay. What's this Four of Cups? Is somebody trying to... Something talks about financial security here as well. But it looks like somebody wants to like... Add a third party somebody trying to spice something up that's all i'm getting from that i mean that's what i got immediately somebody trying to spice something up bring somebody in i don't know what's the three of pentacles with the um let's just clarify the three of pentacles what's this three of pentacles yeah somebody trying to Somebody trying to bring somebody else in. I'm going to tell you that now. That's what, that's what I'm getting with that right there. Because the Knight of Cups, it's, it's, it's. It also speaks of an imagination. This is crazy to me. What's the Two of Cups? There's two different relationships. Or this is somebody wanting to have two relationship, two people. There go Cancer energy again with this Two of Cups. Something is moving forward when it comes to a connection. What's the Two of Cups with the Chariot? 
there's some uh this somebody's moving forward with the solid foundation someone's trying to build so like i said it, uh, uh, if ain't nobody trying to do it, that third party situation that don't even have to be for everybody i'm gonna tell you that now because the main big picture that i see here is that so this this king of pentacles um could be a capricorn okay doesn't have to be could be a water sign but this person wants to collaborate for some of you they want to come together and they want to build a solid foundation with you all yeah that's what this is right here this four of pentacles is down here too what's the four of pentacles down here there's that two of swords again but there's a difficult decision somebody is holding back some information that is probably what you're going in to look into you're seeking some truth uh and You're seeking some truth. Or you're, there's a difficult decision. Somebody's still holding on to someone too. Wow. Like I said with the codependency. Wow. I'm getting a lot here. Someone's in a full-blown commitment with someone else. While also being with somebody else too. Like living double lives. Somebody got a whole family that they're with. But they're still holding on to this other person. I don't know, Gemini's. I don't know if this you. Then again, it doesn't have to be because the answers you need are coming. Or maybe you're trying to choose whether you want to stay inside of a family, whether you want to build a massage or whether you want to stay with someone in a family situation or you want to build, whether you want to move to a higher level of commitment with the person that you are in a relationship with or whether you want to build with a new person now if this isn't you don't take it but this is someone someone what's this ace of cups because there's new love here on top of already a foundation what's the ace of cups someone could have felt as if they made a bad investment into a new love opportunity. Or maybe they could have felt that they missed a chance with you. What's this Ace of Pentacles with the um, Ace of Cups? Somebody, yeah, maybe they want to make up for that. Ace of Wands. This person is determined to get this new beginning with you you have a new beginning here when it comes to when you, when it comes to some a relationship something passionate okay but there could have also been a thought of a miss someone's someone's also uh feeling that they had a missed opportunity when it comes to some type of business venture as well Okay, I'm getting that with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here as well. Something that could have been very lucrative. Clarify the hangman, please. Oh. Somebody has a Scorpio Mars. There's something that you're learning. Okay. And you're releasing. Okay. This something you felt could have felt was a personal was a setback, okay? But um what's the five of cups with the hangman? Let's see, there was a, I'm trying to tell you something about I'm also like I said, I'm also getting something that has to do with um 
there's some learning here from something. Okay, so someone could have been a procrastinator. Someone doesn't didn't have like a, a commitment when it came to taking opportunities as far as um, job opportunities or something like that. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's what it was. Uh, what's this page of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Very upset with yourself. You're needing to forgive yourself for sure. You're needing to release this because there's new beginnings here. Like, okay. What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, yeah. With the Nine of Pentacles, that talks about financial stability. Is this Ace of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles? Yeah. You're having hope and faith. There was, you're having a renewal here when it comes to your spirituality and, and your hope and, you know, your faith in this. You're having hope and faith when it comes to this, okay? Even though it is a disappointment. Um, yeah, you're having faith in this. You could have felt like a failure. What's this Three of Swords? Maybe this is all in one. There, I said to hit my window. There's some one or some there's something coming in. It could be an inheritance. Um but it's all it's it's something about giving and receiving. Okay? So there could be some someone coming in to um give you something okay um but with the six of pentacles and the three of swords for the people who are going through a relationship situation there is something that was uh very heartbreaking uh, when it came to some type of giving and receiving within a relationship. Okay, you even could have been married, okay? The, could have been a divorce here. There's a renewal of faith, though. What's this Ten of Cups? Yeah, there was a tower moment with this family situation. There was a sudden change, sudden upheaval. Something happened. What's the tower? It helped you realize something. Something that could that was hidden. Um, with the high priestess here. It's a secret. What's the high priestess with the tower? It's secret. Knight of Wands. What is this Knight of Wands doing? See that Two of Cups? It was trying not to come out when I tell you to know that it's stuck right there. This Knight of Wands taking action on a new relationship. Yeah, someone was keeping a relationship secret. Like I said, what's the Knight of Cups up here? And I'm not even about to change my mind on that because that's that. Someone's coming out of uh this this knight of cups up here. It's 
is making a choice. Let me see. I don't know. Let's see. Hold on. What's the Knight of Cups with the Seven of Cups? There's something that ended. There's an end of a cycle here. Something ended. Okay. Uh, there's an end and a new beginning. So you ended something with this King of Pentacles. And there's a new beginning here with this, whoever this is. Could be a Cancer. You decided someone decided to take action on a new relationship. Yeah, with this choice between two or somebody decided to take action and you're trying to figure it out. Somebody is all up in their head though. Feeling isolated. Mentally restricted. Okay, what's this uh, four of, uh, no, I already clarified that. What's the star? There could be an Aquarius uh, spying on you. I'm also getting that, um, there's a contract here. Let's see. What's the Page of Swords with the star? Yeah, there's a contract that you walked away from. There's a completion here. So, yeah, you, somebody made a choice. This isn't you. This is somebody else. But there's somebody who walked away and made a choice to be with someone else. Yep. Could have been a mistress, sad piece. I don't know, but there's two. <laughs> there's two. <laughs> What's the Six of Pentacles? It's King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. King of Cups wants to have a balance, giving and receiving. This is a person who is emotionally balanced. This is uh, more of a feminine energy, but it's a masculine. Okay, but this person is very in tune with their emotions. Clarify the King of Cups, please. Oh, wow. This person wants to celebrate something with you. Yes, this person wants happiness with you right here. This King of Cups. So, something is ending and something is beginning. Gemini's. What's the Knight of Swords? What's this truth? Let's see. Whatever it is that you didn't came in and found out, whatever it is, it was kind of, kind of I'm going to just tell you right now, there, you, there's some mental clarity here with this Ace of Swords. You done found what you was looking for. The answer's. Are coming or they are here. What's the ace of swords? <laughs> Working hard at it too, huh? Yeah, you're meditating on this. Somebody is. <laughs> on this new beginning, something is like, what? Let me pull these tea cards. What's the tea? I did, look, I ain't pulled this for no other sign, but I gotta see what the tea is for y'all, okay? It is what it is. There's 
a third party situation here. Obviously, Shatari. Obviously, you said that. I keep saying the same thing over again, which I already said. All right. Messages for the Geminis. Sucking up to get ahead. Clout chaser. What else? I'm going to just let them come out. And then I read them. All right. We got buried secrets. Someone doesn't want anyone to dig up. Well, it's too late. Already happened. Spiritual Claritin preaches to get money from others. What? <laughs> okay. Overactive imagination and imagines things that are not true. Mm. We got they are unaware of an STD they may have obtained. Check up now. Wow. It's time to party and celebrate. So that's what a that devil card could have been, like I said. Because somebody had a choice between two and the, you, you could have been... Or somebody or you, you know what I'm saying? Something could have happened with this person getting the STD. And maybe that's the way you found out. Or I don't know. Okay? I hope not. Okay, we got, they said they are forgiving, but they aren't and still resents you. And then we have cutting ties with you and moving towards another victim. Yep. Yep, somebody did this to you. <laughs> That's crazy, but it's all good. Karma. What goes around comes back around. All right, Gemini's, that was your reading. If it resonated, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, okay? Share and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.